Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we'll learn how to generate Tambola tickets using macro codes. Okay, uh, this is the, um, you know, uh, Tambola tickets generated through a macro. Uh, now, before going to the code, looking into the code, let's understand how the Tambola ticket works. Uh, it has uh, three rows and nine columns. Okay, so totally 27 houses, 21 cells. And uh, each of the rows have five cells filled and remaining four empty. And uh, th that is also a random. Randomly, any, any of the five cells in a row. So each row will be filled with five um, cells. And the numbers also will be random. And, um, you know, on the first column will have numbers from 1 to 10, second from 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, and so on and so forth till 90. Okay. So, even in our uh, code, this logic will apply. We need to see, um, randomly, we have to pick uh, five cells and we have to see, check whether this number is repeating with other uh, rows if it is repeating we should pick up another number so th these are the logic which we'll be using to generate the code now let's look into the code okay so here uh, our tabola tickets will be generated the 27 columns uh, 5 in each so 15 cells will be filled out of this 27 okay uh, and the numbers should not be repeating and uh, the logic uh, as I told uh, first column will have the number from 1 to 10 and 11 to uh, 20 and so on and so forth so let's look you know uh, how the code is okay so I have given this name as Tambola ticket as I always say give some meaningful name you can give any name so I've given Tambola ticket it will select the sheet and range A1 is the first cell in the sheet. And dem is uh, declaring a variable. So we uh, have declared uh, multiple variables. You know, uh, as we go through the codes, we will explain what are this. Rows, column, this is for a column. This is fill cell, that means how many cells to be filled. Random column number, I have given random number. Other row one other row two that means if you are working on row one so row two and row three become others if you are working on row two row one and row three becomes other and if you are working on three row one and row two becomes other rows okay those are the when we look into the code you will understand better this even or odd even or odd is uh, to you know generate our tickets here uh, even um, even first say for example here in this case we have given 20 we can give any number 100 thousand 500 whatever number it will generate this many number of tickets so 20 so what it will do uh, one ticket it will copy here another here so one two three four so all odds will come here and even will come there so identify to where to paste we have given this uh, uh, variable and n ticket is number of tickets in this case 20 and these are the other variables small variables which we will see in the uh, code okay n ticket is range k to oh here in sheet 1 so k2 is 20 so it will know how many tickets to be print generated so we are returning the pick the value of number of tickets from range k2 and x row one and column row so it will increase as we go on okay now uh, this one is a label general ticket so i'll explain you later when we come to here or uh, uh, basically what it means when we go down further down then it will come back to here and start from here uh, since we gave 20 so once it printed one ticket then it will come back again and it will start the loop 
same procedure again and again until the last yeah uh, j the initial value will be zero then we'll keep adding one incrementing by one now i one to three one to three means first row to third row okay so we'll look through for first row then second row and third row so basically we'll be covering all the 27 cells for first row so here uh, if you are working on first row if it is on first row then other row will be two and three and if it is second the other row will be one and three and if you are working on third row the other row will be two and one okay so it will pick cell row and column and fill cell five that means you know here row first and we need to fill five cells out of this nine okay so and to fill cell is again a label where we have given it will come back here okay a random column okay so here also we need to five is not first five or last five it has to be randomly picked so we will say okay a randomize and pick any column from 1 to 9 so when we say it this uh, system picks 4 so it will update in the fourth column so if it is uh, the column has picked 1 then it has to randomize number random number 1 to 10 we know that uh, the uh, data will be uh, 1 from 10 yeah here it will be 11 to 20, 21 to 30. So this is equal for, uh, you know, 1 to 9. So random number. So do until is not other value. That means once it has picked the value, say now we are in second row. It is picking value from second and it's already picked two here and the random number again comes two then we say no don't pick it because it's already picked pick an another number do until this is not equal to this so that is the code here do until is not equal to the other two cells if other two cells are filled and need to check and it should give a different number so this is for column one so similarly we have the same code for column two only thing is numbers will change here we have one to ten in column it's eleven to twenty and column three will be twenty one to thirty and so forth and so, forth. so until here the code yeah okay once then to find if the cells are blank or not because uh, it will loop it may pick the same cell again for a randomizing say it is here it is updated again randomizing it has picked here so we'll say no it's already filled go to the next one until all five are done. so here if it is blank then it will update with the random number which is selected then we need to find out if it is how many cells are filled we know that one row should have only five cells not more than that okay so it will this code will uh, say pick the value is a worksheet function excel function account a it will count the blanks okay so it will go to next until the five is completed and once five is completed then it will go now this part until here the tickets will be generated for one ticket 
Now we want to continue this process or loop the process till the number of times uh, we have entered here 20 in our example. So 20 times it has to loop the same thing. So I say okay from j to number of ticket that is j initially it will be 0 then 1 then 1 to number of tickets 20 then it will copy uh, here is the order even again we have used excel function is even so first will be 1 1 is a odd number so it will find if it is a odd or even so it is not true it's a false so if it is false it will go to sheet 2 and paste it in here this side right side so all uh, e odd will be coming on left side even will be coming here so basically we will say if it is even or odd paste it here ESL if it is um, even paste it in K and every time it has to increase so for, to, for easy calculation we have done 5 plus 5 okay we are given 2 blanks 3 plus 2 blanks so 5 5 10 15 it will paste it will paste here first here then second here third paste here fourth and the code for that is if you look at it here we'll, we are adding 5 and we just add k or a if it is even put it in k if it is odd put it in a k and 5 10 a 10 a 15 a 20 a 30 so similarly k 5 k 10 k 15 and active sheet paste if it is not equal to enter here that is if it is not till 20 then again make it as or we are resetting it to 1 then go back and clearing the contents this is to clear contents whatever it has picked it will clear the contents here and again paste it here generate a new ticket and paste it here and the loop will go on and on till the time yeah and next j so here is the label which we gave so it will again loop generate the tickets and it will right okay now let's check if it works so we have uh, we have given 20 here and here tickets are not. so I'll activate the um, code alt f8 with the macro all the fit and I say run and it's copying and pasting in the second sheet Yeah, so it is done. If you look here, you can see 20 tickets generated. Yeah, so you can generate as many tickets as you want, the molar tickets. There's no limit for it. Okay, uh, a number of tickets you can generate through this code. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next video, it's